Welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today I want to show you how to customize the Quick Poster Volume 8. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over my work area. I am using Element 6 for this tutorial. If you are using a different version of Elements, your screen may look a little bit different and your workspace may look a little bit different, but you can pretty much find the same um, elements just in different areas and you might have to use your help to figure out where those are at, but it should be pretty similar. So the first thing I want to do is, is show you that I have my Move tool selected and if you hover over these it usually tells you what they are and I have auto select layer check marked show bounding box and show highlight on rollover and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my image my first image is gonna be this one and I'm gonna click open and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip it horizontal he doesn't have any writing on his jacket or anything so there's not anything that would make it look flipped and it'll fit better in the template this way if I don't do this then I could actually move the text over to this side which I'll show you how to do that anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and come over to my template and I'm gonna come down to it set where it says your large photo here and make sure that's selected come back to my image and I'm just gonna drag it in. I have my move tool selected, so I'm just gonna drag it in, come up to here to the top and arrow it up and come over to my little box here until I get this little arrows and I'm going to drag it out. And then press enter. And then I'm gonna um, scoot it over to the right a little bit and just adjust it. Let me go ahead and show you some of the different features in here. I have went ahead and these these yellow thumbnails are where it has a yellow color is an instructional information and it's really not anything that is on or off that needs to be on or off. It's just to tell you what's below and it says two photos and long photo are below. This is just the way I've organized it so that you can find everything a little bit easier. It's not as easier as as easy it is as it is it's not as easy as it is with Photoshop where you actually get folders that you can open and close and it's a little bit easier to organize in Photoshop but you can right now we have the circles on and I can turn those off and turn on any design that I choose to and what we're going to end up using is the long clipped rectangle but while I have this up I want to show you how if you wanted to you could actually angle these and go ahead and click this check mark and you can have fun rotating these and doing different things with them and you can click on the effects and you can change the stroke to a larger size and then you can select OK and then you can right click it and copy layer style and then add it to the others and then you click right click it and then you do paste lo layer style and then that same layer style the exact same is the same for every one of them and so you can just change those a little bit and then if you added a picture to this with a clipping mask you would have a little bit of a different look but I'm going to go ahead and turn these off because that's not what we're using for this one and I'm going to turn on the long um, rectangular photo but before I do this I want to show you how you can other how you can customize it even more with with these elements right layers below these are the right layers and you can turn these off and on to get different looks for your photo for your background with these so it's just something you can play with or if your photo is large enough to cover it then you can just turn them completely off and you can just have your photo as the complete background and you could still use like the circles or the or anything that you wanted any of these and you can use your background your photo as the background but I'm gonna go ahead and turn these back on and you can also change the colors of these by double clicking this and change it to any color you want anything that has a color fill if all you have to do is double click the color 
and you can change the color to anything you want by selecting the color. And you can choose a color in uh, the picture like this. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have yourself a creative day.